Hello everybody, Skippy Gamer here. Welcome to the Let's Play of Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Ah, uh, great. Hang on just a sec. Okay, sorry, I had to cut that part of the video out, because, uh, you know what, that doesn't matter. Um, welcome to the Let's Play of Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Alright, last time, we got, uh, we defeated, we defeated Jonathan Jones at long last. And we also defeated, uh, a, a, a transforming boss or something. It, it's been a couple weeks since I last played this game, so I forget the guy's name. Um, and we got the fifth star piece, and now we could go to Land's End. But before that, there's some things I want to go over. Um, ever since my me taking a break from playing this game or YouTubing in general, I did grind a little bit, just a little bit, at least for one day. I know, lazy, but you know, a lot was happening during the break. And, um... Uh, sorry, um, uh, let's see. How I look at my... I got some, um... Flower powers for both Super... For both Mario and Gino. I just gotta... Uh, remember how to bring up special. Ah, here we are. For Mario, when I leveled him up, I got him Super Flame. Fire Blast. Pre... Pre... Push Y rapidly. Um, it's basically an upgraded version of Fire Orb. And is more powerful. And it's the same thing, just tap Y as hard as you can, you will deal a lot of damage. Um, let me switch to Gino, I can show you why I got him. As for Gino, I got him Gino World. Press Y prior to contact for critical hit. Um, I forget what Gino Whirl does. Hang on just a second. Um. Ah, okay, now I remember what it is. I had to look at the guidebook. Um. Let's just say it's a bit like throwing a disc, but at lightning fast speed. Uh, yeah, I may have to show you guys it. Oh, also, as I put Peach backward in the party, or, you know, actually, I want to put Bowser in. Oh, these are my my powerful team. Anyways, um, there's some things we need to, we, uh, some things I need to bring up. Uh, before you go, you need to, to get some new weapons for World 5. For Mario, I got him the Trippa Shell. Now, the one confusing thing of this is it pretty much has the exact stats as the Masher, with the exception that for the Troopa Shell, you have to pay, I forget how much, but a lot of money for it. But they have the same stats, so... I don't know, I decided to buy it anyway for... I don't know, just because I was getting everyone new weapons and stuff. So, I'm gonna bring the Troopa Shell, because you may be one of those people who never got the Masher. So, yeah. Also, you need to get Bowser the Hurl Glove. It'll give... It'll increase attacks and such. You also... Okay. There's another weapon for Gino called the Double Punch, I think. Although, I'm not really sure where it is. Or if it even... If it... I don't know. Um, I tried to find the Double Punch, but I couldn't find it anywhere near us, so... I would say it could be a World 5, or it could have been like an easter egg or some- not an easter egg, but like some unlockable that we didn't catch, like how we got the masher. So, yeah, that's out of the way. Um, also the Womp Glove. Oh yeah, I also got Malo the rep- the Rapid Stick. Yeah, I think- I should have come more prepared for this. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had to cut that part of the video out also. I got him the Womp Glove, which will... is more powerful than the Rapid Stick. Don't know why I still have it. Um, I also got Peach. The Parasol, which is basically... an umbrella that she can use to attack. Inflict serious pain. 
<laughs> Honestly, it's hard to imagine what kind of damage an umbrella will do, but this is the world of Mario. Anything could happen. So... Yeah, alright. Is there anything... No. Alright, and before I recorded, I decided I had to take a look to make sure, and... There's really not any new armor or anything we could get now for World 5. Most of the new armor comes in World 6, so we have plenty of time to wait, except for Bowser's or Geno's, I think. I don't know. Alright, so I also got some healing items and stuff. A very little bit, because of all the weapons I got, it really wasted everything. I also got the Bright card. And I think that's about it. Oh, jeez. Didn't get much pick-me-ups. Alright, that's that's all the stat stuff so I had to bring up. One more time, let me make sure I got everything equipped. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. I want to make sure I didn't unequip my newest weapons. Also, before we go, I actually want to show you something else. If you got to Seaside Town, either by clearing... Either... Either you save the people, or you just go there for the first time, I had to look again. There's an easter egg that'll come up. I think it's here... No, no, it's in the hotel. Okay, in the past, whenever you bother this kid, he's playing a Game Boy. Whenever you talk to this kid, you end up bothering him and getting him angry because you made him mess up in the game or something. But once you either go to Seaside Town or save everyone from Seaside Town, you could talk to him again and... Wait, hold on. This is the highest score. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, we talked to him again. All right, yes! I'm done here. You want this? It's only 500 coins. Um, if you say yes, you could actually play a little cool mini game that'll, that'll most likely show, suit yourself, that I will show in the future. Why don't I show you now? It's because I have two coins left. So I don't really have enough. I, <laughs> I'm way low. So once I get enough and feel like I don't need any healing items, then I'll get and I'll show you the mini game, if I can. If not, maybe maybe after the let's play, like as a bonus thing. If I decide to do a bonus episode. Okay. Um. Let's. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Um. No, I don't think there's anything else. So. All right, we're ready to go to World 5, Land's End. Here we go. All right, we should save it here. All right, I don't know if that's an enemy or not, but let's avoid it just in case. Okay, you're gonna have to press it on timing on where when you want to fire. You're gonna have to press B, because I just pressed A and nothing happened. Now, uh -huh. I think there's, yeah, there's gonna be some cannon, so that was like a practice one. Okay, I think I get it. So once it just, like, just flips to the right direction, then you fire. Not when you wait a second. And we get some new enemies. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid them, but we should fight at least one of them. Just seed stats or stuff. Okay. Ugh. So we got to see the new weapon. Now we'll see the hurl glove. Whee! Of course, we actually seen that one already. Ah. Oh, a double tech. So Gino starts first in this fight. You know, 
When I played this game, I always found it confusing how turn orders in RPG games like this game work. Like, oh, it should be Mario first, then his allies, then all the enemies. It should be. But then there were a lot of other times where, like right here, Gino goes first, then some enemies, maybe after that, then, yeah. I always found that confusing. But you know what? Ever since I played Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition with some friends of mine, I actually had a good idea how they decided. it. Huh, I learned a lot from Dungeons & Dragons. So much so that I'm actually making a dungeon. I'm being a DM. Um, a lot of people- a lot of you guys are like, what's a DM? You don't know what Dungeons & Dragons is, so... Some of you do, some of you don't. So, I encourage you to play with some friends, cause it's really cool. It's- it's not a video game or anything, but it, it's a fun- it, it's- It's a tabletop game, and it's really fun. Take my word for it. I don't want to use the pick-me-up. Oh, let's just do it. Get a freebie. What's it mean in this game? Seriously. I was hoping he said, once again. Okay. Whee! Whee! That came from Zeus. <laughs> okay. Ooh, level up! Malo reaches level 11. Um, let's see. I want... I really don't... I really don't know. Let's have this up. You know, I always found it confusing that... I always found it confusing that... All of your allies can level up, even though they're not in your party. I, I always found the- Wow, that, that was sneak attack. Confu- Whoa! Spider! Okay, frankly, he's not that freaky. I mean, looking directly at him, he's not really creepy. <laughs> um, okay, I want to run away from this. Whew. So, yeah, they're- What are they- <laughs> Never mind, they're- It's almost like a slide or something, I don't know. I cannot believe I just escaped that. Okay. Let's save it here. And we got some new bees. One one bee's running all over the place, and one of them is guarding the flower. And bees like flowers, so no surprise there. So just wait for the for the bee to leave the flower, and when when he's not in your range of fire, just go launch yourself. close. Oh! Whew. Almost got me. Welcome to Sky Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Wanna challenge it? Yeah. It's free, so... The only... I'll need five coins from you. Need an explanation? You can cr cross the sky bridge in one of three ways. However, if you fall at any time, you'll lose. On the normal course, you'll make it across just by jumping. You'll get five coins for that. On the... On the special course, the blocks will fall if your time runs out. You'll get eight coins there. On expert course, the blocks will fall and the jumps are harder. You'll get frog coins there. On all the courses, you'll you'll have to jump and avoid the bullet guys. Which course do you want? I'm gonna go with normal. We may come back here in the future. Yahoo! Good luck, you. Oh. oh! 
Seriously? Going up? I'll give you a boost. Just jump on top of me. Wanna challenge it? Five coins from you. Which course do you want? Normal. Okay, so don't go in front of it even though you're not on the block. So just be careful. Jump only when the bullets go. Whew! We made it! Yahoo! You want to double your winnings? Get double the coins if you make it across on the same course in one attempt. Be warned, the course is harder, and if you fall, you won't get any coins. Still want to try? No, I want my coins. Here you go, as promised. Received five coins. So, honestly, you don't have to do that contest. I think you could just jump over without doing it, so... But, you know, if you want, you could just do it. It's up to you. Completely up to you. Okay. Reach the desert zone. Desert, desert. Okay. I really don't remember what to do here, so I think we go to one of these whirlpools and we go to different rooms. Oh, I think we... I think we chase that thing, like around a corner, then go to inside him or something? I... What do you do? Oh! You know, let's use this battle as an example to show Gino Horal. See, like I said, Frisbee. Okay, honestly, I don't feel like fighting them. Great. Yep, Mario's dead. Oh boy. Run. Okay, I'm gonna die. Okay. Let's try the other whirlpool. Yeah, this is not the right place. I don't think anyway. Yep, we're back to the start. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this one. And we're back to where we started. This one. Yep, okay, let's see. Ah. Okay. Use super flame. So that's super flame. Let's terrorize everybody. Rotate the control pad. Dodging them good. Because I remember looking at the at a guidebook I have. If you beat one of these things in a specific room, in a whirlpool, you can actually get to where you're supposed to go, I think. That's a lot of damage, dude. Wow. Okay. I'm hoping it's a once again. Okay.
Oh good, level up. Um, let's see. Alright, Bowser is level 12. Oh good, I was hoping he'd get some new move. So, Poison Gas. I'll have to try show that off sometime. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he seems to be the kind that needs this, but uh, I want to give him more health. Peach, level 12. See, I have no idea how that works. Like, you can level them up even though they're not in your party at all or something. It really confuses me. But it helps, so I can't really complain. Alright. Go there, and... Uh, we're... We have to do one of these up there. Poisons them too. Doesn't really do much damage, but you know, every little bit counts. Okay. I was hoping it'd say once again so I could go a second time. again. Powers on any any of these guys, they will they will Valkyr up, like you know, turn red and stuff. But if you use normal attacks, they won't. So stick to normal attacks if you want them to get upgraded or anything. Kind of wish it didn't have to like. Uh, this is like taking so much health away from me, which is going to take away a lot of items from me. Which is going to make it harder for the boss fight ahead. Because yes, there is going to be a boss fight. Okay, right there. I think. If you sneak up on it, you can actually go in it without initiating a battle. If you do it right. Okay, I'm trying to think what to do. I was told this would happen, but it was supposed to be in a different room. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I know, I know what to do. So 
So if you see what's going on here, the whirlpool is going after you, but the one with the ant is going away from you. That's the one you want to hit. Oh. I hope I got the right way. Just, the sort of maze here is really hard, so I got I wanna make sure I get this right. Okay, how about right uh, which one did I hit? I hit the right one. Th this is the right one. Okay, we go to this path and climb here. Okay, how do we climb up here? You may be asking. Well, we do have to go up go up here to advance, but we can't right now. We're just gonna, just gonna have to take a different path. Ah, haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Isn't this incredible? It really does look like the edge of the world, doesn't it? It's too spooky for me. I'm, I'm heading back to... Monstro Town. See ya. Hmm, Monstro Town. Huh, why don't we follow him and stop by there? Okay, now here we have to do the same thing we did last time, although this time we have to push him right there. Right here. And not get hit by the other whirlpool. If so, we have to start this all over, and I'm gonna have to go berserk. Oh, 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 oh! Ah. Well, at least I'm near the right spot. I'm not reviving him, and it's because I don't want to waste my healing items. Yeah. Oh, great. Maybe I should revive him. Pick him up! Pick him up! Defense up. Called it. Okay. We made it, I think. Yes, we made it. This is where we're supposed to be. Let's save it here. And how far are we in the video? Okay. Uh, I think we could do, well, it's close to 30 minutes, minutes right now. Do I want to continue or... I'm trying to think, do I want to continue or... Stop the video here and go back. You know what? Yeah. It's close to 30 minutes. Let's stop. Why did I come down here? Let's stop it here. Oh, if you thought, if you're thinking like, hey, how do I get back up once I go down there? That's how. Okay, um, I'm going to stop it here and I may go back and. Uh, we got a lot of coins from those fights, so I may go back and get some healing items because from what I can remember. We have a big boss fight ahead, and we may need a lot of pick-me-ups, healing items, and a lot of stuff. So, 
thank you so much for watching everybody if you like what you saw today be sure to like the video if you like the channel you saw today be sure to subscribe to my channel when you comment no swearing in the comments tell friends and family about this channel and sorry i'll see you guys next time all right i'll see you next time everybody